Do you want to become one of the richest players in Roblox Skyblock? Well, in this video, I'll tell you guys how to go from a noob to a huge pro in Roblox Skyblock. So, you can easily profit a lot from this and what I'll be showing you guys. So, uh, hope you all enjoy the video and make sure to subscribe with the notifications on because I make a lot of Skyblock videos. Okay, so I made an alt account just to show you guys exactly what you should do if you're completely new. If you're not new, then I'll be showing how to go from completely new to how I am right now. So what you want to do, whenever you first join, you want to collect all of the stuff that you've been farming and then try to make it so that you have a lot of space for farming because this is like the most important thing you can do. Now, the only problem is since this is a new account, I only have one berry bush, which berry bushes are the best way to profit, so that's kind of a bit of a problem. Now, just keep farming your five wheat like that, and once you first join, most people take a whole bunch of grass from the top of their base. I suggest to not do this. You should take the stone from your base, even though it takes a little bit longer to mine, a stone is kind of completely useless to be on the bottom of your base while the grass actually lets you stand on something, so you don't really need stone at all in your base, so just destroy enough stone until you're able to make a bridge. Now, the next part, after you uh, just sell all of your crops and buy some more seeds and everything, then this is the super repetitive part, you just keep farming and farming and farming, and then eventually, after you've farmed so much, then you'll uh, want to, instead of just farming, actually do things that you're supposed to do whenever you're playing. So, try to get good items, just keep farming and selling stuff, and then craft some good stuff. You want to craft the stone and pickaxe and stone axe. And I'm not going to start playing the game again, because I've been playing for like a month, so it would take me another month just to make the entire video. So I'm just going to be explaining most of this. And then, after you make these, then you make the anvil, which is... Uh, or you want to make the tier 2 workbench, which is here, and then whenever you can make the anvil, then do that. Or try to make the tier 3 workbench if you have to do that for the anvil. I'm not exactly sure which one you need for the anvil. But then once you get the anvil, make the iron tools, and then make a wooden sword here for 20 wood. Now, that's not that hard to get. But then once you have all of that, then you'll probably have around 25,000 coins at that time. Anywhere from 10,000 to 50,000, but 25,000 is probably where it seems you'd be there. So then, just farm a whole bunch of slimes. Now keep farming slimes until you get a pink gear. Now with the pink gear, you should uh, keep farming them to try to make a smelter and then try to make as many smelters as you can, get a lot of iron, and then just keep crafting stuff and making stuff and crafting stuff. Now, once you're all the way up there, once you have the best tools you can get, well, the tools you need, all iron tools, not the best tools, but just all iron tools, and then the wooden sword, that's all you need, and then you should probably start trading. You can build your base up if you want to, I mean it's all kind of useless. Everyone tries to make a really cool base, which is good, but none of it really serves completely a use. So I suggest to use berries, don't use a huge onion farm. The only way you'll be able to actually profit from an onion farm is if you're a super rich player with like 100 million coins, and then you can buy thousands of onion totems, tens of thousands of onion seeds, and make an insanely huge one. Now what you want to do, just keep trying to trade people and trade for berry seeds. Now, if you want to trade more than just in the Skyblock Discord, because people spam the chat super fast and no one can even see anyone else's trades really, then uh, 
in my Discord server. I have a trading channel and a talking channel for Roblox Skyblock, so join there and you can trade there. But just keep trying to get more berry bushes, that's the best way to get money. Now, the only thing that you actually need to do to your base, you don't have to build multiple floor or you don't have to build multiple floors or anything. You just want to expand it. So cover this entire area with grass and make a huge grass bridge from here to there so it doesn't look like a separate part or a separate island. It just looks like one big base. And then like the spawn on my main account, how I have that whole big thing on the floor, you should do that. Now, it's going to be very huge and uh, uh, very uh, flat once you do that, but you don't need to build floors. You can have an area where it is just your tree farm or anything, and if you want to outline it instead of building a whole new area, you can just like outline the area around it, and then it will look better than not doing anything at all. But you really don't need to do that unless if you just want to build your island. You should only start early trying to make your island look really nice after you've gotten a lot of coins and have farmed a lot and are very rich. So after that, after doing all the trading, by the way, my last video on how to get rich fast, I kind of had a trading guide in there. So if you guys want to see my trading guide, then you can do that. But after you just do all that trading, try to trade for everything to get the best tools. And once you have the Gilded Axe and the Gilded Pickaxe and everything, most people and most people making guides just say to actually farm for it and stuff. But farming is so bad, like, you just spend so many hours getting stuff that you could be doing something else like unless if you're afk farming then it's not really that useful why farm when you could just trade people and get it way faster it's so much better to trade so much better so after doing a lot of trading you'll have all the best tools and stuff and once you have that you should start building your island just put a whole bunch of berry bushes everywhere by the way i'm explaining exactly what i did to get where i am so just put a whole bunch of berry bushes, like have a huge berry farm. And I made a video also on how to make an auto berry farm if you want to watch that. All of it's going to be linked in the playlist that I link in the description. But once you do all that, once you have all of that, and well, then you'll basically have everything. And then you'll probably have millions of coins by then, maybe even tens of millions, maybe even a hundred million after you farm the berries a whole bunch. So... Once you have all of that, and you have basically everything, and are super rich, the only ways that you can get early rich after that. Now, this is where it gets kind of hard, because you've already gotten everything in the game, so there's only uh, one more thing, or actually two things that you can do to get super rich. So, my berry farm, I get, I can get up to a million berries a day. Now, a million berries is 25 million coins, plus if you add the seeds value and trade the seeds off, then that's 50 million coins daily. Now, think about playing Skyblock for a month. You could get 1.5 billion coins, but I got 2 billion coins in literally a day. I already made a video on how I got them, but I guess I'll just explain it real quick again. So, I traded a lot for secret items, like... Secret items were my number one thing, best thing that I could possibly get. I'd only trade secret items. Now, if you're rich, don't waste your time trading cheap stuff. Like, if you're trying to trade some flowers, don't waste your time trading, like, five flowers for 2,500 coins. Only trade for secret items. Now, I only do trades where I trade at least 10 or more. If they're test totems or torches. If they're an expensive one, like Test Blueprint, or if I find someone with industrial food processor or anything, then i definitely just trade for one, but if you trade for only 10 or more secret items, well, after you get 500 million coins, you should only- or actually after you get 1 billion coins, you should only trade it with big trades. Up to then, you can trade like one item, but it's kinda hard, because if you have a big island, then people try to join you and stuff. So unless if you have a lot of VIP servers, then you cannot really have a big island. Because you'll have to join public servers to trade people and everything. 
So if you want to trade people, then uh, try not to build a big island. Just make it so that your island is big enough where you can have like 2,500 berry bushes. Maybe like this area, this would all be a thousand grass blocks if I destroyed all the stone and everything. Maybe even 2,500. And then just make another like 2,500 to 5,000 with berry bushes on it and your base will only be like 15k blocks and you'll be able to join public servers kinda easily. But if you make it too big like mine is you can't join any public servers and sometimes you can't even have another person in your server because it's done that to me before. So yeah, you just trade people like that, trade secret items, secret items are the best way to profiting. Now, one of my friends farmed to get an industrial food processor, and this is probably the easiest item to profit off of if you get it, because it can go to up to 100 million coins. Now that is a lot, you could instantly get 100 million coins by doing this. So instead of actually farming or anything, you can get it if you're completely new. If you have a new computer, or well, a different computer from the one you're using, you can literally get it so easily. Now, how do you get industrial food processor? Well, you jump off your island, and uh, it's a very low chance to actually get it if you do that. I think that it's like less than a 0.1% chance, but someone I know did that for a week straight, and they got two industrial food processors. Now, a week for only two items. Now that may seem like a lot. They AFK'd on a different computer for the whole week, but they were able to get it. Now if you do this on another computer, they might change it so you can't get it, but it will just teleport you to some weird block place, and then it will automatically give you the industrial food processor if you spawn on it. But it won't let you pick up any of the other items, only the industrial food processor. I don't know if this is an easter egg, like a secret drop for a very rare item, or I don't really know why you can get it like that. But that's the only way, and if you get it, then you can sell it for a lot. But how I got my stuff, literally just trading, if you think that, well, it's impossible to trade that much, well, uh... I did a lot of trading, like, I would only trade for the longest time. Like, until I got 2 billion coins, I wouldn't farm berries, I wouldn't farm iron, I wouldn't farm anything. I literally just traded and traded normal items for secret items, and bought secret items, and then one day, I traded away all my secret items, and then, uh, or almost all my secret items, and then I got, like, 2 billion coins. So, that's the best way, that's... Uh, that's the guide on how to go from noob to rich. It's pretty easy to go from noob to decent. Like, it will only take a few days to go from how I am right now on this alt account to having like a million coins and being decent. And then after that, it gets kind of hard because you either have to farm for like a month to get early pro, or you can just trade a lot, like I said, and get the big pro. So, hopefully this helped you guys. Make sure to subscribe with the notifications on, because I make a lot of helpful Skyblock videos. And join the Discord server and Roblox group, linked in the description for trading and talking about Skyblock. Like the video, follow me on Twitter at Talanthric, same as my YouTube channel. Last thing, a shout out to all my channel members, if you want to see your name on this board, all you have to do is press the join button to the left of the subscribe button and then join the channel, and your name will be on this list next video, along with special stuff in live streams and video premieres, like a chat tag, chat color, symbol by your name, and a whole bunch of other stuff in live streams and video premieres, so if you want to and you do, then thanks, but... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, YouTube!